Welcome to the villa. You're about to embark on a dating experience like none other. Oh, let's go! I have an extremely high libido. Is that too much saying I have an extremely high libido? Should I just have said high libido? I'm just looking to have fun. What the hell? So I guess we're at a point in humanity where out-of-pocket shows don't even face us anymore. Case in point, Milk Manor. It just got real. So the show gathers a bunch of mature, drenched, high libido moms, pretty much like 10 Darcy's. An extremely high libido. Drop them all into an island in Mexico with a corresponding number of young men, all within the same age group of their sons, coincidentally. Oh, let's go! That's suspicious. But oh wait, there's a twist. There's more! And the twist happens to be, coincidentally, it is their sons. Oh, let's go! That's weird. I mean, some of these boys aren't even old enough to shotgun beer, yet TLC deems they're old enough to smash a couple moms here and there. Great! Like, I don't know which TLC executive greenlit this plan and thought it was a great idea, but he or she must have been deep deep down the rabbit hole and somehow found the keyword search of most teenager boys. <laughs> like, to put it into perspective, let's just imagine the alternative. Welcome to Dilf Manor, where fathers and daughters will tango and potentially grope on other daughters in hopes to find true love. <laughs> Like, that show would be off air before it got the chance to be on air. Don't believe me? Ask the producers of Epstein Island. <laughs> <laughs> but nevertheless, here we are, Milf Manor by TLC, the channel that I put nothing past anymore. Like, these hungry, hungry hippos would do anything for a storyline at this point. And that's cool with me, I guess. I mean, that's what I'm here for, right? To consume it so you don't have to. Saving you potentially from terminal blindness. <laughs> but yeah, fuck it, Milf Manor. Let's get to it. Cue the music. Hear the music. Praise be to the God above at the night. All I wanna do is love, I don't wanna fight. Sauce. I'm Kelly, I'm 50 years old, and my alter ego is Disco Mommy. Hey girl! Hey. Disco Mommy loves house music. In Disco Mommy, she's really spontaneous. She's just fun. What can I get you ladies to drink? I have six amazing kids, three girls and three boys. Number one question people ask me like, is from the same guy? I'm like, no, why would I have six kids from the same guy? Hello? Why would I have six kids with the same guy when I get six different sources of income? Hello? Entrepreneurship? Hello? So we start off with the batch of eight women kind of just filling each other out. And it's looking like Disco Mommy's the head honcho of the bunch. It's gonna be a little bit hard to keep up with Kelly. She's gonna be the party girl but they're all super feisty super competitive ready to pounce on the young guns with the exception of maybe charlene i'm confident pola she doesn't have anything on me so young is cute but if she likes the same guy that i do like i will be competitive i don't care about any other thing i want to win all these women look amazingly hot but they're not me kelly has a big personality for me it's really too much i'm not mad about my body mm -hmm. <laughs> I already feel I'm the woman that will get the least attention. I'm like the biggest girl here. Like, what do I have to offer? With that kind of attitude, Charlene, uh, probably close to nothing. You got nothing! Because honestly, with young men, all you really got to do is bring the fun. Like, it really, really don't take much. <laughs> it's funny to say, but most of us would probably put little Johnny through an outlet if we could. And uh, didn't care about becoming fried chicken. <laughs> Now, me personally, I've never dealt with older single women. Not by choice, anyways. Please call me. So I was kind of unaware, uh, shook at the amount of delirium and thirst talk some of these women were exhibiting. Whatever God has, I guess. Okay. Amen. Right. Right? Right. right? Whatever God's plan is. I am excited to see what God has in store for me. I mean, yeah. <laughs> of course. Why didn't I think of that? Of course our Lord and Savior wanted you here to deride out a couple of these young books and, uh, you know, teach them a little sum sum. What are the things that you can teach them? I don't know if I can say that on TV. <laughs> See that right there? That's a laugh of untainted purity at its core. I mean, nothing unholy about this whole show at all. No way. Like, not even a speckle. <laughs> Amen to God's plan, right? See what God has in store for me. You got nothing! Anyways, another... <laughs> You know, some of these interactions are just borderline bama weird. Like, yeah, thank God for that. Uh, thank God we're not all here trying to F our little boys. <laughs> like, I'm really not buying the whole, oh yeah, mom, I too will be in Mexico in the exact same city on these exact same five days. Also shooting a reality TV show that specifically told me not to tell you about. <laughs> 
Ain't that a bit odd? That's weird. Now, the initial interaction between the two groups was the exact amount of cringe you thought it'd be. Even though I'm this age, I, I've always been very physical and have a high sex drive. So if you're going to have a younger guy, there's going to be a lot more sex, I would think. I, I can't. I, I'm sorry. Just, oh my can you Lord. stop and just let me talk? You, like some of these boys are fresh out of high school, seemingly acting like they watch one too many PUA videos. And now they're almost doing like infield live, ready to report their discoveries. The only thing that matters is what feels best for you. Getting closer. Oh, no. Pulling back. Sexual harassment is against the law. Oh, you're the baby. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be 22, oh, right? <laughs> so nice. And I'm probably the oldest. Oh, there's no way. <laughs> There's no way. As I make eye contact, my face, sexual, my lips become a little bit more sexual. What the fuck are you doing? You see, I don't think we grasp how abnormally bizarre this show is. You and your mom on a dating show, birds and bees practically performing it in front of each other. And you gotta live knowing that some of these dudes are probably gonna be smashing your mom and vice versa. This is your dad. What? Ma. Like, is that not weird to anybody? <laughs> see, I kind of have to like brainwash myself to put myself in those shoes, because naturally you're not supposed to. Like, that's where people usually draw the line, except this show doesn't know what a line is. Like, the show will literally Euro step over the line multiple times. Told him stay aggressive, go, hey, 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 For example, we have our seriously, uh, no shit, Joey. You don't say. As if this whole challenge wasn't out of line to begin with. And nobody here is even questioning this. Like, you would think there'd be like some kind of clapback and TLC producers are just passing out challenges like, You have to do it. You have to. Or I'll fire you. Do you understand? But no, everyone was chill. Moms were geeking. Like, they could have easily said, Moms, blindfold. Boys, drop the panties. And just by using your God given senses, figure out which Jimmy Johnson belongs to your son. Philly. Quick. Like you think I sound crazy, but some of these moms were borderline doing it. Oh, that's, that's nice. Oh, oh. That's, hmm. I'm very excited, so I could feel the abs a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> See what I mean? Like, somebody explain to me how this method is supposed to help her find her son. Explain! No, explanation! Unless they're doing some, I don't really want to know. <laughs> so basically, the point of the game was that the two moms who found their sons the quickest apparently won the game, and thus won the two bigger Ocean View suites or whatever. Like, wow, ain't that worthy? Ain't that worth potentially groping all over your son in places you probably shouldn't? <laughs> like, what's values, morals, and ethics anymore, right? <laughs> But I mean, strictly judging from the lineup, I would assume Billy and Ricky would probably be standout performances. Self-explanatory. Whoa, is there somebody over here? Billy. Wow. Yeah, that was pretty quick. This is Billy! Have a text. Congratulations. Ah! Yeah, it didn't take a mathematician to figure that one out. Like, I bet you the man's opening line is something like, I may not got abs, but I got squid game tattoos. <laughs> Come card me up. Saranghe nuna. So anyways, bypass the night and a couple weird dialogues. The girls are always popping out, you know, the headlights are always on. <laughs> it didn't bother you when you were a baby sucking on a meal. What? Because I needed the milk. You were really thirsty. <sighs> oh, <my God. laughs> we finally get to the second challenge. I got a tag! You got a tag? Who got a tag? Right now, if you can stump your mom or son with a secret that they don't know, you'll win a romantic date. Oh. Each week we have a challenge, and this week it's called Wall of Secrets. If neither of us guess each other's secret, we win a date with whoever we'd like. So how the game works is both mom and son are given a list of everyone's deepest, darkest secrets that they all just so happen to have written down on request. It couldn't be me. And now kind of have to guess which secret belongs to the other. We gotta guess if it's yours, if it's mine. And if they both guess wrong, then they win. We've been winning, been winning. Like, it all sounds good and dandy in theory, but in actual practice, I don't know how any of that makes sense. Like, you would think it'd be harder to guess right, right? Like, the odds are 1 in 16. The whole point is to stump each other. I think I got this. And you know, I thought she did too. You know, hot dog stand type of activities. Too many niggas at your house is a hot dog stand. Making more buzz than a hot dog man. What the fuck are you doing? 
but turns out most of them were pretty underwhelming. Car, car rimmings, car rims, YouTube, car rims. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and, and said it was a normal thing. It's a normal thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about you, bro, but I don't want to be walking around looking like somebody sharded on my face 24-7. It could be me. But yeah, do you. And uh, your mom will probably do your best friend. Speaking of which, so young, who is so wrong, cannot be outdone by her son, proceeded to drop the mic after dropping this. Okay, my secret is I slept with your best friend. Oh! A few minutes later. Oh my god, are you nude, huh? Oh my god. You're in your own reality, and I'm in mine. Life's crazy. It's crazy. What? It's my best. Um, uh, I'm so calm and peaceful. No, you're not. Yes. Can we go in a room and talk, baby? No, it's not about talk. Everything's understood. You haven't seen too far. You don't live in my world. Some people can't handle the realness. Um, yeah, so much realness, Oh, Jimmy seemed to have gained the internal wisdom of awakening his third eye. I slept with your best friend. Everything's understood. But no, all jokes aside, I felt like that's something so young should have taken to the grave. Like, I don't know how you can admit that to your son, let alone national TV. <laughs> Usually, like, your best friend is someone you've known for years, grown up with for years. Parents see them grow, you know? <laughs> like, I'm not saying she's a groomer, but, uh, hey, take it how you will. That pretty much wraps up the first two or three episodes. We still got four or five episodes to go, which you guys will get later this month. Um, I got another video for you guys coming up in like seven days before the 17th, so less than a week from now. So yeah, two videos back to back and then Milk Manor 2, hopefully by the end of this month. So yeah, stay in touch, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on IG, follow me on TikTok, and um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in a, in a few days. But hey, what do I know? I'm just sipping sauce. Rapper, two rapper, three rapper, four. All these bodies in my closet, I know that most of my favorite rappers wasn't spitting like me at the age of 19. Make a motherfucker think that my idols, my rivals, and I never lose. So my idols get slotted, they're thrown in the trenches. I snipe from a distance like boom, pow. I reload and I empty the clip on a pussy motherfucker with a lick in his bio, like single day, my own.